All right. <clears throat> Here's the latest thing I've been tinkering with. I've always wanted uh, to be able to use one keyer on any one of uh, the rigs in the shack here, and I got four of them, uh, including one boat anchor, the uh, Drake B line, the T4XB transmitter, which has, you know, pretty good voltage on the key line, so you just can't switch it with a. Uh, with a uh, NPN transistor that's got a VCE of 20 or 30 volts. So the uh, HV key all, which you can find somewhere if you search it on the internet, is a great little simple cheap device. I incorporated that into my keyer, and I, for years, over 20, probably 25 years, been using a K1EL um, keyboard keyer that you can use with paddles or uh, an old style keyboard. So the rigs are the uh, K3. My latest uh, new little thing here is uh, Tentec Century 22, which I've been having a lot of fun with. And then over here on the other side of the shack, we've got an Alicraft K2. And, whoops, I'm tangled up here, and the boat anchor station, the uh, old set of Drake B-Twins from 1967. Okay, so I searched through all my stuff trying to do this on the cheap, and uh, uh, was pretty successful. <laughs> the only thing I don't like right now is the knobs on the front, the two knobs don't match, one for, to select the output and one for the speed control and uh, no matter which rig or which position the uh, output selector is set to everything goes through that HV keel whether you need it to key your transmitter or not so uh, and let me give you a quick look at what it looks on like on the innards hang on okay here's the inside view we got the uh, K1EL keyer kit that I've had for probably 20 or 25 years. This is the HV key all here. I've got five isolated output jacks. Right now just the uh, Century 22 and the K3 connected. I gotta make up a couple more cables. But there's the switch I got from MPJA a while ago. A bag of 10 of them I think for two dollars. And uh, this is the uh, speed encoder that came with the K1EL kit. I added the display and uh, have everything on PC uh, headers so I can unplug, you know, nothing is really soldered together. For example, I could take this display out if I wanted to or needed to in a matter of just a couple of minutes. Here's a quick look at the back. Um, it's a five position switch. I got four needs right now. so. Position number five is just uh, a spare if I wanted to, uh, you know, test out somebody else's transmitter up here or something I'm working on. I can uh, plug it right in there to check the CW operation. There's the paddle input jack, the keyboard, and the, uh, and the power. Okay, so let's turn it on. Uh, this is uh, the display will show you either what's in the transmit buffer or what you're currently sending um, and I've got it hooked up I guess right now to the K3 let me check the speed here go up to 25 words a minute can't hear the side tone but the K3 is uh, well I'll tell you what I got the Century 22 on too and that's where the audio is coming from so you ought to hear this screaming 20 watts out and uh, you know if I go back any one of these outputs uh, will work the same by the way that uh, obviously this K1EL CW keyboard keyer um, has a ton of features you know built-in side tone that you can toggle on and off uh, muting um, uh, I think 10 or 12 uh, big message buffers, 
if you're a contester it increments uh, serial numbers automatically it does all kinds of stuff it's really impressive and like I say I bought this thing as a kit about 20 or 25 years ago for I think it was 24 bucks really uh, super reasonable in fact I've bought I think four or five of these over the years anyway I mentioned that I was doing this on the cheap let me show you how I made the box okay so the box is made out of a scrap piece of uh, one and a half inch aluminum angle uh, just bolted together with uh, 440 hardware all over the place I used uh, you know two pieces for the front and rear and two pieces for the side it left me with a little gap in the middle that I just filled in with a with a little plate here because I needed to mount something to it instead of having a little hole in there I just filled it in with a piece of uh, double-sided PC board material so that's the box turned out pretty simple it's uh, 62 thousandths thick so you know 16th thick so it wasn't the easiest thing to cut that out but you know I got nothing but time okay so there you go handy little gadget that uh, will free up a couple of keyers here and something I've been putting off for a long time I wanted to have one master keyer that I could use anywhere in the shack on any transmitter uh, even if it's got high voltage on the key line and even have an extra spare input you know if I wanted to test something on the table here so there you go There you go. Pretty cool. And uh, I think this will uh, be a nice little addition to the shack. Keep tinkering, everybody. See you all later.